All right, we got our ECUs side by side. Here's the 96 and the 97. Now you cannot use an automatic and a manual or vice versa. The plugs are totally different, so it won't even plug in. Some uh, Lexus and Toyota, you can interchange them, but these, for some reason, they're just, you can't do that. So here's the harness on the 97. I've got our yellow-blue pulled aside, which is that, um, the, what is that, the idle wire from the cruise control actuator and ECU. So this is on D4 on the new 97 ECU. On ours, it's on C11. So basically what we have to do, uh, C11, you can see it right there, that yellow blue wire, the third one from the right. And just to verify, if we look on here, it doesn't even exist. So that's how we can double check just to make sure. Um, and then the other ones I was talking about, the red, black, black, red. Um, D, this is the D plug, the longest one. So the first one is seven, no, look at the wrong thing. 2D, which is the black, red. And we can see the second pin on the top. Uh, we cannot see that. You can see right there, that uh, upper right corner. I'll try to get a flash, there we go. So there it is on our 96 ECU. That's the one we tapped into for the, va the vapor pressure sensor. And on this 97 ECU, it's not even there, so it doesn't use it. The other one, the um, FPU VSV, that's 19D, not 9 like I said before. But you can see it right there, that red-black right in the middle. And on the 97 ECU, just doesn't exist. Doesn't use it. So what I'm going to do is um, snip the the 2D one. I'm going to cut that 2D, leave some uh, length in case I ever have to reattach it. And then that is going straight to, look at my wiring diagram here. So that 2D is going to end up right here, 4B, which is red, blue. So remember the... Um, the plug right here, there's 4B, red, blue, that's a vapor pressure sensor. And then you'll notice on here, there is nothing there. So what I'm gonna, oops, what I'm gonna do is um, de-pin this ECU and take this wire out of here and then put it into the other harness. And then, um, I don't remember what I'm doing with this one. I think I have to do the same with this one because this is our um, the idle thing. So I have to swap, where is that one? 11C idle. Okay, let's take a look here. So D, here's C. Um, 11's probably gonna be on the other side. So we're looking for yellow, blue. And there, I think we already covered this. <laughs> Third one from the right, yellow, blue. So that is the old cruise control ECU from the TPS, which is also tied into TPS, and then it goes here for idle. Um, we're basically gonna cut this and then move it over here on this pin once we depin this and then move it to the other connector. So we're just moving that and then adding this. So not that difficult um, compared to a lot of different ECU swaps that are out there. It's just a couple wires here we have to change around. So I will do that and report back.